answer right, the question. Answer. Go ahead and answer the question. You wouldn't answer the, answer question. the question. Go ahead. What happens is we come together under one unifying thing, which is God. One unifying. Which is God. Who's God? Which God? Which God? It's Krishna. only one God. Krishna. It's only one supreme. Is that Krishna? That's Krishna. Say it again. He has many names. Is that Krishna? Yes. You come together under Krishna. And under Krishna, what do you do with that God? What tell me what. Do? Tell me the rituals of Krishna. You know, what you do is you serve God. How? How? Yeah. Do it on me 28 15. No, no illicit sex. No meeting. No what? Meat eating. Wait, 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 wait. Say that again. No meat eating. No meat eating. So what? Don't that look like, look like homosexuality no, right there? Look at that. No, no you can't get drunk. Okay. okay. No gambling. No gambling. What about the Sabbath day? What about the Sabbath day? Give me Exodus 20 and 8. Since you said we all serve God, let's go to how we serve God. We serve God by doing what? Keeping his commandments. Yeah, Lord, right, wait, 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 brother, wait. Just listen, just listen, just listen. You said I'm absolutely right, right? Let's read the law. The book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day. Do what? Remember the Sabbath day. Read. To keep it holy. What does the word holy mean? Holy means unfiled. No. Clean. And like God. What? Something else. I don't know. You hear me? I told you what I thought. Separate. That's what holy means. So today is a separate day right. for the Lord. That's Not right. to come out here in a, in a wicked, idolatrous, but billiken day parade. Right. You understand that? Because guess what? See all these people behind me right here? And behind me right here? They don't know crap about Bud Billiken. Nothing. He knows about Bud Billiken. The, the mom Christians over there, they know about Bud Billiken. This is not a parade for black people. It's not. They should not be out here. This is called idolatry. Listen up, listen up. Remember the Sabbath day. Christians don't remember no Sabbath day. How do I know? You're here in front of me now. You ain't teaching nothing. Read. To keep it holy. To do what? To keep it holy. Okay, You're supposed to keep the Lord the Sabbath day holy. Watch. Six days shall thou labor. So from Sunday night until Friday night, you could do all your work. Read. And do all thy work. Read. But the seventh day. But what? Don't get pulled away by a woman now. Listen up. This is what this is what the Bible says. Listen up. We're not arguing. We're reading you the law. You said this is how you serve God. So I'm showing you how we serve God. Read. But, but he's, he's all right. Leave him. Leave him. He's all right. Read. But the seventh day. Look, Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Quick, man. This is for the man. You cannot listen, man. Krishna got you in a skirt, man. Oh, How the hell are you a strong black man? You're wearing a skirt. You're supposed to be a soldier of Christ, not Krishna. Read it. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. The woman should not labor which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's gum. Neither what? Shall a man put on a woman's Neither what? Shall a man put on a woman's garment? Listen, man, idolatry got you wearing dresses, brother. What the hell is wrong with you, man? You ain't no woman. You're a man. Hey, how come I don't see none of the East Indian men in skirts? You know, only the black man's in a skirt. What the hell is this, man? Why he ain't in a skirt? And he's 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 East Indian, he's Elon. I see only the women in skirts beside the black, beside that man right there. The damn Persians, read. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. The woman shall not wear what men wear. That's for you sisters out here. You ain't so, read it again quick. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Sis, what does that mean? You know what that means? The woman should not wear what pertains to men. What does that mean? Pants, the little dresses, you, the, the little uh, uh, shorts you got on. You ain't supposed to be wearing that. You're not gonna get no respect from no man dressing the way you do. Read it again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So guess what? This is the law for the Israelites. This is your real culture, not Krishna, not idolatry. Uh, give me um, Deuteronomy 32 and 17. You understand, black man? That's why you get shot down in the streets. 
That's why the cops shoot you down. That's why you shoot down each other, because you're all in idolatry. You got no solution. Please, anybody got a solution out here? How do we stop black, young black men from killing other young black men? Anybody got an answer? Please, somebody at this Bud Billiken. Does Bud Billiken have an answer? Hey, you got an answer? What's your answer? You got an answer? Yeah. How does young black men stop killing young black men? Same tell reason. Me. Same reason. Brown, white. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm gonna tell you. Answer the question. I'm gonna tell you. How does young black men in Chicago stop killing young black men? When people have the opportunity to see, there's a path for them to be able to progress. Uh -huh. They'll choose that. When uh -huh. that's not there, they're gonna turn to violence to be able to feed the what necessities. People, what, what we need. What people are you talking about? I'm talking about anybody who's see, in that's poverty. The problem with Krishna. We ain't talking about. Listen, East. East Indians ain't getting shot down by other East Indians. You know what I'm saying? Listen, listen, the Persians ain't getting shot down by other Persians. We talk about right here, our people. You live amongst the Israelites. That's who you live amongst. And I'm telling you, how do young black men stop killing young black men? What's the answer? The answer is we've got to provide an opportunity for so what, an outlet. What opportunity are you providing? A material opportunity for them a to be able to. So school. Wait, well, here, Go hear ahead. me out, I'm right? Listening. So I know you're saying Bud Billiken is uh, an uh, idolatry. idolatry. Yes, of course, it is. That's Do fine. Me. Fine, yes, of course. It's not people. based in yes. anything sensible, right? So, but, so what are our, all our people out here doing in the Bud Billiken Day Parade? Wait, and, wait, wait, listen, listen, listen. Yeah, yeah. What? Listen. Why? Look, look behind you. Yeah. This is all black people right here. Yeah. You sure, just said sir. this is a useless, vain parade. That's basically what you said. Where are the East Indians in this Bud Billiken? Day parade. We are. We're going to be number 77. Listen, 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 <laughs> sir. Listen, this is all black people here. Yeah. Why are they not out here celebrating Bud Billiken? What? It's not about celebrating Bud Billiken. But that's what they're doing. It's about celebrating going back to school. It's listen, about, it's it's about listen, celebrating. So why is it called the Bud Billiken Day Parade? I don't know why it's called what. It's idolatry, uh, sir. That's yeah. fine. Now, so, so what's the point? Here's the point. Look, what it, it, now, here's it, the point. It has provided opportunity for you to come here and preach, right? Absolutely. That's okay. good. That's good for people. us to come out here. God provides but, different vehicles but, for us to be preaching everywhere. Here's the point. Right? Our people are in the midst of sin. That's why. I agree. Well, that's, that's why, why I'm well, here listen, and that's listen, why you're here. Listen, that's why your people rule over my people. I don't, my people don't so rule over you. So, book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 17. They oh. sacrifice unto devils. What our people do? Sacrifice unto devils. See, that Bud Billiken is of the it devil. Okay, it's right. idolatry. That's fine. It's of the devil. Read it's it again. Totally fine. They sacrifice unto devils. So they are the Israelites. They sacrifice unto the gods of the other nations. Your God. There's you understand? No one, no one There's only one God. Not to God. I'm glad you know that. It's yeah. the God of Israel. Yeah. To gods who they know not. What do our people do? To gods who they know not. Our people don't know nothing about Bud Billiken. Hey, sis, well, tell me about Bud Billiken. Anybody? Does anybody know about yeah. Bud Billiken? They don't know a damn thing about Bud Billiken. Man. This is the Israelites. This is the state of the Israelites here. This is how they do. They just wander aimlessly. Doing anything for some chicken, some watermelon, and a good time. No. Read it again. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 7. They sacrifice unto devils. That's what our people do. Sac look, look, free watermelon. How, how in the hell another nation gonna give me free watermelon? Sis, what's your nationality, sis? Anybody know? What's your nationality, sis? Anybody? Nobody knows. Read. They sacrifice unto devils. Read. Not to God. You don't sacrifice. You don't do what this Bible says. That's the problem. You want to do what you want to do. You want to do, and what you want to do, guess what that means? You follow Esau. You follow the East Indians. You follow Krishna. You follow white Jesus. Read. To God's whom they not, who they know not. Our, our fathers didn't know nothing about no Krishna. Hey, brother, brother right here, big man. Hey, you, this is the Bud Billiken Day Parade, right? Yeah. Can you tell me about Bud Billiken? I'm, I don't know. Anybody know? They've sacrificed the gods they don't know. Right. Read. To new gods. To what? To new gods. You sacrifice to new gods. Read. That came newly up. These gods are new gods in the earth. Read. Whom your fathers fear not. Our fathers don't know nothing about no Krishna. Our fathers didn't know nothing about, hey, big, excuse me, sir, 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 excuse me, sir. excuse me, sir. Listen, you, you been to the parade before? You been to the Buck Billiken, brother man, you been to the Buck Billiken Day parade before? Yeah. Come talk to me, bro. Yeah, Let me ask you a question. This is my first time here. What's your name? My name is JP. JP, my name is Amaziah. What is Buck Billiken about? What is that? 
Tell me. Well, they say it's for the kids. Say them. it again. They say it's for the kids. Okay. They say it's for the kids to help them get prepared back to school, get like energized to go back to school. So what is Bud Billiken? Now nah, I don't know the definition. Nah, I want you say it again. I don't know the definition of what Bud Billiken is exactly, but from what I see or you know, what we've seen since I was a child, just basically helping us out with growing. And growing. So you've been here coming to this parade since you was a child. Yeah. Now so you don't know what you're celebrating. Other than going back to school. Other right? than going back to school, right? Watch this. Read it again. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 17. They sacrifice unto devils. Did you know Buck Billiken is after the East Indians here? Do you ever wonder why the East Indians come out here? Did you ever wonder that? Because I see all black people here. But then I see uh, East Indians. Look at them. Look right here. Look, look, look right here. What are they doing? They're doing Krishna. <laughs> this is another God. Are you a Christian? Wait, you're a Christian. So what are you doing celebrating the God of Krishna? That's idolatry, brother. Yeah, I, you understand my point? This is all idolatry. Now, the East Indians give you free watermelon, bro. I know Come on, man! Free watermelon of all things. They might as well get y'all some fried chicken too. Come on, man! Read it again. They sacrifice unto devils. This ain't got nothing to do with black people. Look, they got the brother in the skirt. He's Krishna. Look, this way, this way. Turn this way. Look, he's in a. They got the brother in a skirt, bro. He's Krishna. Look, read it again. They sacrifice unto devils. Look at the pictures, brother. Just look at the pictures. Look at the pictures. Look at the pictures. Hey, we women. Listen, you can't do this with a skirt. Read. This is called a garment. They sacrifice all to devils. See, all of this is Krishna. You see the pictures, brother? All of this is Krishna. Idolatry. That's what it is. It got nothing to do with Jesus Christ. It got nothing to do with God. Read. They sacrifice all to devils. Not to God. Not to God. Who sacrificed us? East Indians. That's who you sacrifice to. You added it by the East Indians today. Read. To gods whom they know not. Read. Listen to this. To new gods. That's a new god. That newly, they came newly up. Psalms 96 and 5. Quick. You yeah, yeah. That, so this today, uh, they got our people in idolatry, brother. This is idolatry. Now, another question for you. Tonight. When the sun goes down, oh, that's Bud. Oh, uh, look at that. That's Bud Billiken right there. There you go, right there, brother. There you go. You gotta educate yourself, man. We gotta educate our people, man. We're in idolatry. What are the East Indians doing for our neighborhood in Chicago? What are they doing? Are they doing anything for you? Are they trying to stop the violence? Because I just asked them, are they trying to stop the violence? What do they say? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Nothing. They ain't give me nothing. So my question to you is this. Tonight, the, the sun's going to go down. Listen to me. The sun's going to go down. By the time morning comes, how many people, how many black men in Chicago are going to be shot or killed? What do you think? Man, it's unprecedented. Say it again. It's probably unprecedented. It's unprecedented. So the murder here is unprecedented, right? How do we stop that thing? Doing something as a community. Say it again. Doing something as a community. Like what? Like, um, I don't know, doing more outreach programs to those troubled brothers who think nobody cares other than the individual people they see on the street that teach them how to basically go out there and move. They don't think anybody else care about it. So, I'm from Atlanta. Where you from, bro? Louisville. From where? Kentucky. Where you from? New York. Where you from? Atlanta. Where you from? Mississippi. Mississippi. We came from all over the country to yeah, come and right. talk to y'all. But do, how many people are standing in front of us trying to get that word? How many? Do they really want the word? No, they don't. Want they don't want the word, brother. They don't want to change, bro. Look at our people. They don't. We saw flies on the ground. Flies ripped up. They don't. They love this life. Don't get it twisted. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it should come to pass, if thou were not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So the Bible says, this is what God said to, to, to the Israelites through Moses. He said, if you don't listen to what I'm telling you, you got to listen. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments. We were given command. You're a Christian, you say, right? You believe in the Bible. So let me ask you a question. Did Moses give the Israelites 
commandments or did he what's your what's your what's your denomination i'm actually not a denomination okay but that's still a denomination in itself right you go to church on sunday no when you go to church man i haven't been to church in a while when you went to church what day did you go on sunday sunday right so that's after the so-called white man because that's where we learned from is slavery right but watch this did moses give the israelites laws or did he give them religion I think it's a mixture of both, to be honest with you. He gave them the laws to basically abide by as men so that they could be a better person. But then he also gave them a standpoint for moral standpoint. For them. A moral standpoint, meaning what? That they need to know their morality. So, is that laws? No. That's not laws? Well, as a whole, yes. Thank you. So he gave the Israelites laws. He didn't give them That's religion. Right. They, he didn't give them laws. There's no way in this Bible says God said go be a Baptist. God said go be a non-denominational. God said be a Pentecostal. Read it again. But this should come to pass if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments. See that brother? Command all his religion? All his commandments. Go be a Baptist. All his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day that all these curses should come upon thee and overtake thee. Now, it says, if you don't do what I say, all these bad things, evil things, curses, are going to come upon you and overtake you. So, let's go through some of these curses and see what group of people that's talking about. Maybe it's you, maybe it's not. Watch this, th verse 32. Watch this, now you're good, you're good. Read verse 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Wait a minute. Brother, in world history, who that happened to? So far, black people. Very good. Is it the people in this part? Not all the people, but majority, yes. Brother, all, well, yeah, the majority, meaning black people, right? Yeah. Read it again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Do you see that as an evil thing? No, not at all. So, so slavery wasn't an evil thing? Oh, no, slavery was evil. So look at this sign right here. Was this evil that happened to us? Was that evil? Would you consider that evil? So now, how is it that, because you said you're non-denominational and went to church on Sunday. So how is it, so somebody had to teach us about God. What time period did we learn about God? Uh, yeah. The God that we, the, 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 the religion and the, the way we understand God today. What time period did we learn? I'll say a long time when they first brought us over. And Something like this, brother? Something like slavery, right? So, if they if they enslaved you, raped our mothers, cut off your, our limbs, lynched us, do you think they taught you right about being non-denominational? Very good, brother, because they are a bunch of liars. They've been lying to us. That's why what we had to do, we had to come back to this Bible and go through that Bible again. You understand? Look, 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 look behind me, brother. Look at the man. That's what Christianity teaches. Get the camera on that right there. Give me Leviticus 20 and 13. That's what Christianity teaches right there. You ain't got to keep no law. You ain't got to do nothing. Just believe on Jesus. That's Christianity. That's why we're at the bottom. We just read that if God, if you don't keep God's laws, what's going to happen? All these evil things are going to come upon you, brother. Now look at us, homosexuals. We're prancing. Where's the strong black man now? That's supposed to be a strong brother. But look at him prancing around like a little girl. You understand? We're warriors, bro. We need more warriors out here in Chicago. Because y'all are dying out here. Y'all are dying every night in the hoods, uh, in, in, in the hoods, south side, west side, any side. Wait. The book of Leviticus, chapter 20, verse 13. If a man also lie with man God, as he lie with the women, both of them, both of them have committed an abomination. You understand that's an abomination, right? Read. They shall surely be put to death. Now, I got a, another question for you. How did we get over here? How, how do we end up in uh, Chicago? Deuteronomy 2068. How do we, we, we migrated. Okay, oh, how do we end up in America? I'll say it like that. How do we end up here? We were forced. We were forced. So that means you would agree that this is not your homeland. You know that? Oh, of course. 100%. Okay, very good. So if we were now, do you know that's in the Bible? That we were forced here on, on ships? Do you know that's in the Bible? No, I didn't. Watch this. How long have you been going to church? Since I was a kid. Since you was a kid. Now, once again, where's the devil? Watch out, watch out, watch out. See that devil over there? All the way at the end? 
That's Christianity right there, brother. Why? Listen, what, listen to what you said. And it's not just you, it's all our people out here. There's things in the Bible that they don't know about, but they've been going to church all their lives. You know what church does for our men? What do you think church does for our men? Be honest. Really not much. And there's what something that does for wait, us though. Wait, wait, wait. Which, which church are you talking about? Sunday church. Oh, okay, so, okay, okay. I mean, they keep us morally in tune. Really? Did we just see the young Christian prancing down here? Guaranteed he was going to church too, just like you. Yeah. Guaranteed, brother. All these sisters out here in church with their stomach out, their behind out, they go to church just like you. They're going to be in church tomorrow. You understand? Watch this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Now, if you know the Bible, Egypt is synonymous with what? What was the Israelites or Hebrews doing in Egypt? You remember? Yeah, they were all, they were slaves. Very good, very good. So there were slaves in Egypt. So Moses said, for breaking God's laws, I'm going to bring you back into Egypt. So if they, remember, this is the wilderness. If they just left the condition they were in, which was Egypt, slavery. If Moses says, I'm going to bring you back to Egypt, what do you think they're going back to? Back to slavery. Very good. Watch this. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. A second time. Moses said, if you break my laws, you're going back. But this time, watch. We ship. With what? We ship. How do we get to Chicago? We ship. How do we get to Atlanta? We ship. How do we get to New York? We ship. How do we get to Columbia, South Carolina? We ship. Whose history is that, brother? That's ours. Brother, whose history did I just read about slave ships in the Bible? Whose history was that? Come talk to me, brother. Bring it out, Ken. Okay? Whose history did I just read? Watch this. Listen again. Listen again. Read the whole thing. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. The Lord shall bring... Brother, hold, hold on. You should listen too, man. The Lord is going to bring you into Egypt. What does Egypt mean again? Slavery. Egypt means slavery, brother. You, know. you understand that? Watch this. Watch this, brother. Hold on. Watch this. Into Egypt again with ships. You're going to go back into slavery with ships. Whose history am I reading about? Who did that happen to? He will. He will. Uh, who did that happen to on the earth today? Us. So who does that make us? Because this was only written to the Israelites. It was a written to African Americans. It was a written to Chicagoans. It was a written to Negroes. It was written to the Israelites. You're the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. Yo, oh, you are the greatest thing God ever created on this earth. You understand that, brother? But guess what you got to do? As being the greatest, guess what you got to do? You got to repent. See that? See, see that? Look, you're looking behind me now. Come on, bro. He's showing you how to get off the bottom of society. Give me that agreement again. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Into slavery. Again. Second time. With ship. That's our history. That didn't happen to the Jewish people. You understand that? Read. By the way, world, I speak unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. And thou, when you dock on the on the port of that that new country, this shall be so. Wait a minute, you what? Shall be so. Why did you never learn this in church growing up? So what are we what are we teaching you today? What are you what have you just found out? Deuteronomy 101. That nothing changed. That's very good. Yes, nothing has changed. But something else. Who are you in this earth? Okay, wait, so what you guys say? I'm my own individual self. So what do you exactly say? I'm going to show you. Watch this. The book of Deuteronomy. Watch this. Chapter 1, verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Unto African Americans. All Israel. Unto Chicagoans. All Israel. Just black people. All Israel. Go back to Deuteronomy 28. You understand? So with the history that we're reading about is talking about who in the earth today black so-called black people that were put on slave ships the transatlantic slave slave trade is in the bible brother that's what we're showing you the victims of the set the transatlantic slave trade are the israelites you understand that brother we lost our heritage nationality culture religion god language foods we ate Clothes we wear, we lost everything. Now we're dark skin versus the white people. That's right. Right or wrong? Read it again. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. 
and the Lord should bring thee into Egypt again with ship. Let me ask you a question. What's your culture? So, no, no, before I ask that, so who are we in New York? These people right here. What, what, what did the Bible say who we are? What's our nationality? Israel. Yes, brother. Yes. And as the Israelites, God set you above all of the other nations. You know that? Deuteronomy 7 and 6. You, you understand that, brother? You know what it means to be above? Are we above in Chicago? Are we above in uh, uh, New York, Atlanta? Is there any place we're above? Even in the earth, where are we above? Nowhere, brother. You don't see something wrong with that? You don't find it kind of find that strange that wherever you go in this earth, the same condition it, it applies for the same group of people. There's a ghetto and our people are in it. Getting shot up, selling drugs to each other, hating each other, making baby mamas out of each other. That's what we do wherever, wherever we go, brother. You, you, you think that's by design or just, just proof it happened? It's by design, brother. It's, it's divine. It's divine. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. Watch this, brother. For thou art holy people unto the Lord thy God. You understand that, brother? Holy. Holy means what again? Separate. So we're not supposed to be doing no Bud Billigan Day Parade if we're separate, brother. Yes, You're Lord. supposed to be on this side of Moses teaching your people about their wickedness so they come out of that thing. That's what we're doing today, bro. We, we, we prophesying against the wickedness. That's out here. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.